baby. He's still awake. What does this fucker look like? Hey, what's the matter? Let me see. You've been gone for about six hours. What, you keeping track of me now, Tony? You have a good time with the girls? Oh, yeah, we had a great time. Where'd you ladies go for dinner? We went to Delmonico's. I had the salmon. It was delicious. You know what I had for dinner? No, huh? A fucking hot dog. No wonder you're so grumpy. Should have brought you back some of my leftovers. Hey, you're going a little heavy on the hooch tonight, aren't you? Like you care. Of course I care, baby. What's gotten into you? Who are you with? The girls, the usual. Fancy Mary and Joanne. What? Where'd you go after Delmonico's? We went to Freddy's in Brooklyn for some drinks. Oh, yeah, good old Freddy's. I, I used to go there a lot. I happen to know Joe the bartender. Did you see Joe tonight? I don't know. I didn't sit at the bar. The bartender's name could have been Joe. I didn't ask him. Oh, yeah, he, he was there tonight. In fact, he called me. He said he saw you there tonight. Oh, yeah? Yeah, only you wasn't with the girls. You don't say. Who the fuck is he, Lou? Nobody you know. He's in the entertainment business. Oh, but Joe knows who he is. Turns out he's pretty famous. Maybe so. Maybe he can help get my career to the next level. Has he heard you sing yet? Hmm? Or you didn't get to that part? Don't be disgusting. Michael's a gentleman. He knows how to treat a lady. <laughs> he knows how to treat a lady, huh? What if I cut his fucking balls off? Then what would he do? You leave him alone. He introduced me to some people from Broadway. He said there's a part for me in his next show. I don't even have to audition. You mean you gotta fuck him? Did I ever tell you the story about my best friend? My parents of the restaurant in Brooklyn, where all the wise guys used to come and eat. One day, the restaurant burnt down to the ground. That day, my father died of a heart attack. I found out my best friend, Jimmy Dettino, did it. Hmm? So they had Jimmy meet me back of our favorite coffee shop. And I stabbed him in the stomach five fucking times with a bowie knife. Threw him in the trunk, wrapped him in plastic, drove him out to Montauk and buried him off a of highway 27. 27, I know, Tony. It's a charming story. What's your point? My point? My point is I wouldn't hesitate a second to dispose of your new friend if I felt he was a threat to my relationship with you. I made you. No, Tony, I made me. I got talent. Yeah, no, what are you talking about? You didn't know nobody. You were scared to death. You had bad hair, terrible clothes. And I saved you from your situation. Yeah, I know. You never let me live it down since. I mean, what do you want from me, blood? How about some fucking gratitude? That would be a good start. That greaseball Nick treated you like garbage. Me, I treat you like a queen. Yeah, some queen. I've been with you for over a decade, Tony. What have I got to show for it? And I'm even not that kind of thing. You know I really wanted one. What are you talking about? What do you want? A, a baby or a career? You can't have both. Yeah, well, look at me. I got neither. All I got is you. Fuck my life, Tony. I can't take it no more. What? You gonna leave me, Lou? I got a chance to make something of my life. Are you gonna stand in my way? Forget about it. I'm not gonna let you fuck into the guy to get ahead. <laughs> Gun, Tony. I'm not going anywhere. Come on. What are you doing, huh? 
What are you, being dramatic here? What do you care if I kill myself right now? What are you talking about? You're my life. You're, you're my everything. Come on. I'd die without you. Hey, come on. Stop. That's enough, huh, Lou? Remember when we first met? We were in love. We danced on Tavern on the Green. I took you to Shea Stadium to see the Mets. Remember, we were happy. We were happy. Yeah, I remember, Tony. You know what else I remember? I remember you controlling me for all these years. Your constant jealousy. I am in prison with you. And I never asked to be rescued from my situation. I have never known a love like that before or since. And I know what you did. I know. You got rid of Nick. And I will never forgive you for that. So, baby, that's not true. You've got blood on your hands, Tony. So much blood. You don't have the guts. No. Enough with the games. Give me the gun! <clears throat> My boyfriend. 421 Mulberry Street, apartment C. Please hurry, hurry. You fucking bitch. Broadway, here I come. For your information, Michael's a homosexual. <laughs>